The mobile application architecture can seem a little complicated at first, so let's take a few minutes to walk through it to provide some context for the course lessons and labs. In this lesson, we'll take a high-level look at how Mover works, then we'll dig into the backend in a little more detail. Then we'll highlight the specific aspects of the application that you'll be learning about in this course. At a high level, Mover consists of two components. A React front-end that provides the UI that the user interacts with in their browser, and a Node.js back-end that uses Express to handle the front-end requests and TypeRM to interact with the database. The front-end communicates with the back-end using a REST API. This course is only concerned with the back-end, so that's where we'll be spending most of our time. If you're familiar with using Node.js with Express, you probably have a pretty good idea about how the Mover backend works. If not, the easiest way to understand the process is to walk through an example. Let's say a user wants to visit the page to look at a vehicle's detail. The front end sends an HTTP request to the back end via the REST API. In the back end, the router receives the request and forwards it to an appropriate controller function. Controllers validate the request, manipulate the data, and send it back. In enterprise-level applications, the business logic is often separated from the controller into another layer, service layer. Controllers interact with CockroachDB through Entity Manager, which is configured to connect to your cluster. In this example, it connects to the Mover database. Entities represent the actual data in the database table. So here, each vehicle entity has properties for the vehicle ID, vehicle type, current battery charge, and so on. Remember that the goal in this example is to retrieve the details of a specific vehicle. The controller for this operation performs a database read that copies the requested data from the vehicle's table into a vehicle entity object, which is passed back to the controller. The controller then serializes this object into a JSON record and passes it back to the front end. Frontend will deserialize it and display the vehicle's detail to the web application user. The Mover application follows a common Express pattern. Teaching Express and TypeRM is out of scope for this course. Instead, we'll be focusing on the aspects of Mover that are key to understanding how applications work with CockroachDB. We'll dig into how entity objects model different types of data and table relationships in the database. We'll also work with controller methods that perform database transactions. And of course, we'll be working with entities and table in the database that underline the whole Mover application. Let's review. The Mover application consists of two main parts, a front end that provides the web UI for the user to interact with, and a back end that connects to the database. The back end is implemented with Node.js, Express, and TypeRM to receive REST API requests from the front end, perform requests to database operations such as reading and saving data, and, if applicable, to return information requested by the front end. The lessons and labs in this course will focus on the elements of the back end that are most important when creating an application built on CockroachDB.